The following is an excerpt from Disc 3, Story 3, Volume 1 of In the Room with Milton H. Erickson, M.D. To purchase these DVDs, please go to MiltonEricksonDVDs.com. Thank you. Now, another example of short-term therapy It isn't so much what the therapist does as what he gets his patient to do. He crossed me in mind, saw me, said, his mother and sister, and her sister, lived in Milwaukee. Both were independently wealthy, and his aunt had a great big home a great big yard, 52 years old, unmarried, totally friendless. He went to church. Yeah, regularly. He sat by by her cell. He didn't speak to him. The Episcopalian minister. He didn't speak to any of the prisoners. And he went to church on every possible occasion. He had a housekeeper and a maid who came in each morning and did the housework, prepared the meals, washed the dishes, and then in the evening left. The housekeeper bought supplies paid the yard man and keep the yard looking beautiful. And that woman lived alone at Great Big House. And my classmate told me my aunt had been profoundly depressed for nine months. Housekeepers worried about her. So is the maid. She and my mother won't speak to each other. He has no friends and just goes to church. She likes me. She can't send two frequent visits from me. Once a year is about all she can take. And I'm worried about her. Now, on one of your lecture trips to Milwaukee, will you look her up and see if you can do anything for her? One evening, I rapped at her door. Housekeeper made long departed. I identified myself and demanded that I'd be given a tour of the house. And she passively agreed. I went from one room to another, inspecting, hoping I'd find something and I could use. And in the thumb room, I saw three African violets in full blue, different colors. And in the fourth bob, I saw that she had planted a leaf. You know, African violets are propagated by planting leaves. And here this depressed woman passively walking through the house, showing it room by room to a stranger and didn't care about it at all. I saw those three adult African violets and the third one being sprouted. I said, Madam, in accord with your son's wishes, I'm going to 
write some prescriptions for you. And I want them carried out. You give these prescriptions to your housekeeper tomorrow morning. Have her carry them out. I prescribe them. You know, the housekeeper buy her an adult African buyer of every heel that she did not own. I think at that time there were 13 different hues. And then she used to buy 50 potting pots and a supply of soil from the nursery so she could plant some more African violet leaves and start growing African violets. And I also asked the housekeeper buy 200 gift flower pots. And my orders were, every time a baby was born to a member of the church, he sent the baby and a dog. African violet. Every time baby got christened, she sent an adult African violet. Every time a church member got sick, that member got an adult African violet. Every time a girl announced her engagement, she got an uh, African violet. Every couple that was married in church got an African violet. And every church bazaar, she contributed 12 to 20 African violets to be sold. Every possible opportunity she was given African violet. At one time, I know she had over 200 adult African violets. Now, my wife thinks she really accomplished something. You kept a single African violet plant alive and full bloom for three years, and they are the tenderest of plants, and they will die the, the faintest excuse Light has to be just right. The amount of water you give them, just right. And taking care of 200 or more African violets. You know, the day's working doesn't give you a chance to shed a tear. You're busy from early morning to late at night. And so, some 20 years later, he died of natural causes. The endless number of friends, the African violet queen of Milwaukee. Just one of the, seeing just one place where he still had energy and then capitalizing on that energy and spreading it over everything. And you can't give a beautiful African violet to people without rousing a good feeling toward you. He had plenty of friends of all ages. And at church's Christmas party, there were all these African violets. The old, the young, the sick, the well, newly born, newly christened, newly married. It was a wonderful outlet for her. And she really didn't have time to feel depressed. I saw her only once. Psychotherapy is treating a patient as an individual who is unique and never be a duplicate of that person. 
and you use the uniqueness of that person. That person possesses a lot of unknown qualities. I discovered she liked African violence. 